Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. I wanted to take a bit of a break away from what we've been doing with all this inventor stuff and maybe take a look at 3ds Max Design 2014. Um, and inventor has some great tools for setting up presentations, but uh, I just wanted to show everybody how you can take your uh, the parts and your assemblies that you've created in Inventor and then bring them into 3ds Max. It's a really simple and quick procedure. And then you'll be able to fine tune materials and lighting uh, with a lot more control. So as you can see here in Inventor, we've got the chessboard finally all assembled with the various parts. And I've saved this as an assembly. If I come over here to 3ds Max Design and I go up to the application menu, what you'll notice is that I have an import menu. Um, if I hover over this for any amount of time, it gives me a few options. You've got Merge, Replace, Link Revit, um, Link FBX. So you can explore these later on. Maybe we'll do some more videos in the future with those. But uh, for today, we just want to use the typical import. Um, I don't have any other geometry, so I'm not going to be really merging this scene. I'm just going to be bringing in the chessboard at first. Um, so what I can do here is click on, on chessboard <clears throat> and hit open. And what it'll do is it'll bring up a dialog box that allows me to make some changes. I don't want to choose these as mes uh, meshes. I want to leave them as body objects. And I want to uncheck reference duplicate parts. Uh, create layers by material. That's fine. I'll have uh, two layers for this. And we'll add the object name to the material as well. Um, merge with the current scene or replace current scene. This doesn't really matter because there's nothing in here. But I do want to bring in my inventor material so I can modify them after. And I'm just going to leave this uh, vertical direction in place. Um, I'll show you how to quickly move that back if you, uh, if you need to. It's going to come in fine, but say if I was to change this to X, it would flip my, uh, my axis. So what I'll do is I'll change that over for the time being, and then I'll show you how you can move that back afterwards. So let's hit OK. And this might take a second or two, so what I'll do is I'll just pause this. And it uh, should come in pretty quick, so... Well, actually, maybe we don't even need to pause it. We better pause it. Okay, so we're back. We've got our chessboard in here, and as you can see, it's not lying flat um, because we flipped that X direction. So, um, we'll take a look at how we can quickly make that change. Um, as you can see, we're in a bit of a, a perspective projection here with 3ds Max. works a little bit differently than the other modeling applications. But you can see that I have my, um, my user coordinate for this whole object is right in the center. So what I can do is if I want this to, if I want to pivot that along the corner, um, I, I can make this rotation now quite easily just by coming in here, grabbing that yellow ring and rotating that until it says 90 or I can put it in the bottom. Another way that I prefer to do it though is not lower it um, because I know that this is directly on that zero line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the front, no not the front sorry, the right, and what I can do is change where that pivot is. So if you come up here to the hierarchy and you say effect pivot only. I'm just going to change my command over to move and I'm going to bring the pivot over here to the very corner of the chessboard. Okay. Now you might want to snap that. That's fine. I'm okay to eyeball it for this. Um, and then I'm going to uncheck the effect pivot only and now this is where I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to put in the uh, that value. So I'm going to go minus 90. Let's see if I can. There we go. Perfect. And then you might want to move that. Again, it, it's not right down on the zero, but that's fine. So we can just nudge that down just a wee bit. So fine-tuning the position of objects in 3ds Max is very, very simple and very quick and then if you want to create a camera for this that's quite simple as well we'll just come back over to uh, the create tab we'll choose the camera and we'll put a target um, let's look at this from overhead let's go across 
and uh, so we'll select that camera and just adjust that a little bit select the target and we can move that out beyond and I just want to put my camera in between so that I'm maybe seeing a little bit of that geometry I'm going to come in here and just bring that up a little bit maybe just a bit above okay and now let's take a look at how this looks so we come up to the far corner where it says back right now we want cameras and now we can use the zoom tools to zoom out and get a little bit better idea as to the geometry that we're seeing here right so you can pan in here as well okay so we'll get into um, setting up a render and some of the other idiosyncrasies of 3ds max but what I wanted you to see for this video was how to use that uh, inventor server engine with the imports back from invent inventor now if you do come across a snag, sometimes you might have Inventor Server Engine installed from a previous installation, but all of a sudden you've updated your Windows 8.1 uh, or from 8.0 to 8.1, and now all of a sudden it's not working. There is a reason, there's an answer, don't tear your hair out. Um, what you'll want to do is um, come to the Autodesk uh, website. You'll go into the AutoCAD uh, product and come to downloads and there's a download in there called model documentation hotfix for 64-bit Windows 8.1 it's just a simple uh, zip file you open that up and there's a file and what you'll do is you'll overwrite this here you'll go to C Drive program files Autodesk 3ds Max Design 2014 inventor server and into this bin folder and then simply just overwrite that uh, DLL file so if any of you guys need help you come across that and you get snagged up and you need uh, further instruction on that let me know uh, you can send me an email or leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible or you can consult the Oracle good old Google will give you the answers if you know which answers to ask for so Anyway, that's uh, importing geometry from Inventor into 3ds Max. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.